Owners have one month left to register their firearms if they want to continue to legally possess them. If not, they risk being charged with a felony. Tonight, new numbers show less than 1% of legal gun owners have done this. First Lord Forrest Dion Broxton is getting reaction to the low numbers. Stephen King owns gun stores on both sides of the Mississippi. And most of these guns recently here have come from Illinois because of the gun ban over there. Illinois lawmakers recently made owning an assault weapon like an AK-47 or AR-15 illegal. There's a lot of people that the Illinois State Police would have to go look for and give felonies to. There is an exception. You can register your weapon by January to keep it. But Illinois State Police reports only 4,000 out of nearly 2.5 million gun card holders have registered. No, it's not surprising. Some Illinois gun owners wonder what will enforcement look like. Officials here with Illinois State Police say they will enforce this law along with local law enforcement agencies. But some Illinois gun owners are skeptical just how proactive police will be when it comes to enforcing this. I know that a lot of the southern state counties, sheriff's departments and police chiefs have already publicly stated that they are not going to actively go look for people with illegal firearms. Several Metro East law enforcement agencies pushed back earlier this year. I don't see anyone in the criminal element uh, going to be standing in line at the state police headquarters or the sheriff's office here and registering any firearms. Illinois Governor J.B. Pritzker's office sent first alert for the following statement. With the January 1 deadline a month away, the governor is confident that gun owners will find the time to register their firearms as they are required by law to do. Those who don't will at some point be breaking the law and will face the legal consequences for doing so. I'm sad that so few people are willing to do what seems to me to be the right thing. Edwardsville resident Mike Cruson is in favor of the new laws. Shooting active shooter at the school, 3125 South King College. The CVPA shooter in South St. Louis used an assault weapon. I hope it never comes to any schools that, you know, my grandchildren are in, but we see on the news quite regular. I trust people. I think the vast majority of people are law abiding citizens. And if they decide not to obey the law this time, uh, they're going to get some grace from me. They're targeting law abiding citizens who bought these firearms legally, passed a background check. A person violating this registration law could face a fine up to $25,000 and or up to several years in prison. In the Metro East, Dion Broxton, first alert for. Well, Illinois gun rights advocates are hopeful the U.S. Supreme Court will overturn the Protect Illinois Communities Act at some point next year. Well, right now in D.C., there is a push for a new gun bill that would limit components and add-ons to semi-automatic weapons for the entire country. The Go Safe Act would limit certain semi-automatic rifles. The bill would also ban detachable high-capacity magazines and components like bump stocks that essentially turn semi-automatic guns into fully automatic ones. The bill does not the bill does include some exemptions.